Hey, we're on the June 2012 exam, and this is page 12, part C. And we're going to answer these questions and show our work on our formula answer sheet thingy. All right, so this is questions 66 through 70. All right, let's read what it says. A runner accelerates uniformly from rest to a speed of 8 meters per second. This guy's a ripping. The kinetic energy of the runner was determined at 2 meter per second intervals and recorded in the data table below. The speed and the kinetic energy. Directions 66 to 67. Using the information data table, construct a graph on the grid in your answer booklet uh, following the directions below. Uh, for a point, they want you to plot the data points for kinetic energy of the runner versus his speed. So 0, 0, they want us to plot that. Now I teach uh, a little intersection with a circle, a little plus with a circle around it. Uh, some people dots, all sorts of things I guess would be acceptable. Uh, at 2 meters per second, a kinetic energy of 140 joules. So at 2 meters per second, 140. All right, well, let's see, what do we got? So uh, there we've got uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 100. So each one of these is 100. So here would be 100. That's 200. It would be 150. Just shy, that would be about 140. So it looks like that's 140. The 4 second, it's 560. So at 4 seconds, we go to 500 and 600, 550. So we're a little bit higher than 550. That'd be about 560. Then we get to six seconds. We're at 1260. Six seconds. We all get all the way up here to uh, 500, 1,000, 1,000, 1,002. And what do we say that was 1260? So 1,000, 1,250. A little bit more than 1,250. There's 1,260. And for 8 seconds, 22.40. So here we are at 8 seconds. We get all the way up to, uh, let's see, 22, was it 22.40? 22.40. 22 and 50, a little bit less than 50, 22.40. 22.40. So what does it ask for? It wants us... For a point, uh, to draw the dots, and uh, for another point, draw the line of curve of best fit. Watch what I'm going to do. Well, my hand naturally curves like this. I'm just going to turn my graph right around, flip it around on my paper, and I want a nice smooth graph that doesn't change directions. So I'm going to start here, and, uh, whoop, and I'm not going to get too carried away. Uh, what I want, don't want to do is for this graph to make a lot of bumps, and I certainly want to, don't want to do it as straight lines. That would be wrong. So I try to fit a nice curve. What's the next thing they want? Calculate the mass of the runner. Show all work, including the equation substitution with unit. Well, uh, here's, uh, what do I know? Well, I'm going to pick some data here. I'm going to pick a velocity and a kinetic energy, and I, I like to go with uh, the largest number. So I'm going to pick a, a velocity of 8 meters per second. So I'm going to say that his velocity, or her velocity, velocity is 8 uh, meters per second. And at that point the kinetic energy was equal to 2240 joules. And they want us to find the mass of the runner. So that's information. So that's listed my knowns. Now on my formula sheet under mechanics, because this is a mechanical event, I've got a bunch of formulas, but I've got uh, kinetic energy is one half mv squared. Kinetic energy one half mv squared. So kinetic energy is equal to one half mv squared, and they want mass. So I got to get mass by itself. Well, the first step in the algebra is uh, for me it's always to get rid of the one half. How do I get rid of one half? Multiply both sides by two. 2 kinetic energy equals mv squared, and then divide this equation by v squared. So now I've got 2 times kinetic energy divided by v squared. So let's say 2 times 2240 joules divided by 8 meters per second squared. 
calculator time. And I get 70. I get a mass of 70. And I know the answer is going to be kilograms. Now you could have done joules as newton meters and then kilogram meters per second squared meters which would have given you a kilogram meters squared per second squared. And then you're dividing it by meters squared per second squared leaving you with kilograms. So you could have done all those units but you're going to get full credit for just going with 70 kilograms. Question 70. A soccer player having less mass than the runner also accelerates uniform of rest to a speed of 8 meters per second. Compared to the kinetic energy of the less massive soccer player, the kinetic energy of the more massive runner when both are traveling the same speed. Oh, compare the kinetic energy of the less massive soccer player to the kinetic energy of the more massive soccer player. All right. I guess they probably want more than just one word. So let's say uh, um, at the, start it with a capital, at the same velocity, velocity, the more massive, I like my handwriting, <laughs> neither do my students. At the same velocity, the more massive uh, player will have more kinetic energy than the less massive player. End it with a period, so it'll be a complete sentence, and uh, there I am. All right, that was page 12. Hope you did well.